Imagine standing at the foot of a mountain over 3,000 years ago, thunder cracks, lightning illuminates the sky, and an ancient wisdom is born. With these evocative words, we begin our journey into the historical significance of the Ten Commandments. These enduring principles, first introduced in the biblical story of Moses, have shaped ethical and moral codes worldwide for millennia. The Ten Commandments, or Decalogue, emerged from a time of profound transformation. Ancient civilizations were evolving, and there was a growing need for a universal set of moral guidelines. Answering this call, the commandments provided a moral compass, guiding societies through the complexities of life. They became a bedrock, a unifying force that transcended cultural and geographical boundaries. The commandments' origins are deeply rooted in the Hebrew Bible, specifically in the books of Exodus and Deuteronomy. Here, the narrative unfolds of Moses receiving the commandments on Mount Sinai from God. This divine encounter, amidst thunder and lightning, remains one of the most dramatic and powerful moments in biblical history. But the significance of the Ten Commandments extends far beyond their theological roots. They have played a pivotal role in the development of legal and ethical systems throughout history. From ancient societies to modern democracies, principles echoing the commandments can be found. Respect for parents, protection of life, prohibitions against theft and dishonesty, the sanctity of marriage. These timeless truths resonate in legal codes and societal norms across the globe. Moreover, the commandments have influenced philosophical thought and sparked debates about morality, ethics, and the nature of right and wrong. They've provided a framework for discussing and understanding our moral responsibilities to each other and our community. So as we embark on this exploration of each commandment, let's remember their historical context and their enduring impact. Let's reflect on their original intentions, their theological roots, and their relevance today. As we journey through these ancient texts, we'll discover how they continue to speak to us, offering wisdom and guidance in our daily lives. From this ancient moment, a moral compass for humanity was etched in stone. And it's this compass that continues to guide us, even in our modern world. The first two commandments set a firm foundation for monotheism, a belief in one God. Now let's delve into the theological roots of this concept and the prohibition against idolatry. These commandments emerged at a time when the world was predominantly polytheistic, where multiple deities were worshipped, each with their own sphere of influence. The commandments presented a radical shift, proposing the worship of a single, all-encompassing God. This was revolutionary, a direct challenge to the prevalent practices of the time. The prohibition against idolatry, too, was significant. It discouraged the creation of physical representations of God, emphasizing instead the unfathomable and divine nature of the Almighty. These commandments laid the groundwork for the monotheistic religions that would follow, including Christianity, Islam, and Judaism. They underscored the idea that there is one supreme being, a concept that continues to shape spiritual beliefs and practices today. These commandments were revolutionary, challenging the prevalent practices of the time and setting the stage for monotheistic religions. Moving forward, the third and fourth commandments urge respect for God's name and the sanctity of the Sabbath. The theological roots of these commandments are deeply embedded in the history of monotheistic faiths. They serve as reminders of the divine and the sacred, urging us to pause, reflect and honor the divine in our busy lives. The third commandment, you shall not take the name of the Lord your God in vain, underscores the importance of reverence for God's name. This reverence extends beyond mere words. It calls for a profound respect, an acknowledgement of the divine in our lives. The fourth commandment, remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy, harks back to the Genesis creation narrative where God rested on the seventh day. The Sabbath, therefore, is a day of rest and worship, a pause from our worldly pursuits to reconnect with the divine. These commandments emphasize the importance of reverence and rest in our spiritual journey. Next, we encounter commandments that touch our daily lives, honoring parents and not taking a life. These commandments, deeply rooted in theology and history, 
have established a blueprint for familial and societal order since ancient times. The commandment to honor your mother and father is more than a guideline for family dynamics. It's a call to respect the wisdom and experience of those who came before us. This honor extends beyond our immediate families, reaching into our communities and societies. It encourages us to value the lessons of the past as we navigate the present and shape the future. The commandment against taking a life serves as a stark reminder of the sanctity of human life. It underscores the belief that every life holds inherent value, a precious gift that must be respected and protected. This commandment is a cornerstone in the formation of just and compassionate societies. These commandments remind us of the sacredness of family bonds and human life. Faithfulness, honesty and integrity are the cornerstones of the next three commandments. The seventh commandment, you shall not commit adultery, is a call to faithfulness. It originated in a time when marriages were strategic alliances, often arranged for the purpose of preserving family lines, property or power, but over time, it has evolved to embody the sanctity of personal relationships and the virtue of loyalty. It's not just about marital fidelity, but about being faithful in all our relationships and commitments. The Eighth Commandment, You Shall Not Steal, speaks to honesty. It originally intended to prevent the chaos that theft can cause within a community. But on a deeper level, it's about respect for others' rights and possessions. It's about the understanding that we should not take what is not ours without permission, whether it's material goods, ideas, or time. This commandment encourages us to live with honesty in our interactions and transactions. The ninth commandment, you shall not bear false witness against your neighbor, underscores the value of integrity. This commandment was particularly crucial in a time when a person's word held significant weight in legal and social matters. But it's more than just a prohibition against lying in court. It's a call to be truthful in all we do and say, to live with integrity, and to respect the truth. These commandments, while rooted in ancient times, hold profound wisdom for our modern lives. They remind us that faithfulness, honesty, and integrity are not only virtues to aspire to, but also essential for fostering trust and justice within our communities. They guide us in our relationships, in our dealings with others, and in our personal growth. In a world where trust is often shaken, these commandments offer a path to restore it. They encourage us to be faithful in our commitments, honest in our actions, and to live with integrity. So, as we navigate through our daily lives, let's remember these teachings and strive to incorporate them into our actions for the betterment of ourselves and our communities these commandments guide us towards a life of integrity and respect for others. The final commandment addresses an inner battle, coveting what belongs to others. This commandment, unlike the others, shifts focus from our actions to our desires, acknowledging the profound influence of our inner world on our outer behavior. It's a timeless nod to human nature, recognizing our tendency to yearn for what we do not possess, a sentiment that resonates in every era, every culture. Historically, this commandment was a radical departure from the norm. Most ancient laws were concerned with actions, not thoughts or feelings. But this commandment, inscribed millennia ago, understood that our internal desires can lead to external transgressions. It teaches us the value of contentment, of appreciating what we have, instead of longing for what we don't. In essence, this commandment calls us to cultivate contentment and gratitude. It's not just about refraining from taking what isn't ours, but also about fostering a spirit of thankfulness for the blessings we already possess. As we conclude our journey through the Ten Commandments, let us take a moment to reflect and pray. Our hearts humbly open, we seek guidance from this ancient wisdom, from these enduring precepts that have shaped civilizations and guided countless souls through the ages. Let's bow our heads in prayer. Benevolent source of all that is, we thank you for the gift of the Ten Commandments, timeless guideposts on our journey towards ethical living and spiritual growth. We acknowledge their profound significance, their capacity to illuminate the path of righteousness in a world often shrouded in moral ambiguity. We ask for the wisdom to understand these commandments, not as rigid rules, 
but as vibrant, living principles that can breathe life into our daily choices. Help us to see beyond the literal words, to the heart of compassion, integrity, honor and reverence that beats within them. Grant us the courage to live by these commandments, to embody them in our actions, our words and our thoughts. May we honor your name with truthfulness, keep sacred your day with reverence, respect life and relationships with fidelity, and approach our fellow beings with kindness and honesty. We pray for the humility to admit when we fall short, and for the strength to rise again, guided by the light of these commandments. We acknowledge that the journey of spiritual growth is a continual process, a path paved with both triumphs and trials. As we delve deeper into the wisdom of these ancient teachings, may we find personal connections, subtle resonances that speak to our unique experiences and challenges. Let the Ten Commandments be not a heavy yoke, but a liberating framework that empowers us to live our highest truth. In the silence that follows this prayer, let's take a moment to contemplate our personal connection to these ancient teachings, to consider how they can enrich our lives and inspire our actions. May these timeless teachings guide us on our path of spiritual growth and ethical living. Until next time, journey well.